Hey everyone, we are looking at applying volume formulas today. We are going to answer the question, how can I use the volume formulas to solve problems? So what you will need to do is read the question to figure out what shape they're talking about and then write down that volume formula. And then you can write out all the variables and that will help you identify the given and missing information. And then you will have set up an equation and you can solve for the missing variable. And here are the three volume formulas here for your reference. Okay, so let's look at number one. It says the area of the base of a cylinder is 452.16 feet square inches. If the volume of a cylinder is 2,712.96 feet cubed, what is the height of the cylinder? So we are talking about volume of a cylinder, so I'm going to write down that formula. It is V equals BH. So I will need V, B, and H written out. And the question tells me I'm looking for the height. So I know that information is missing. It tells me the area of the base, which is capital B, is 452.16. And then it also tells me that the volume is 2,712.96. Now I have enough information to substitute into my formula and set up an equation. V, the volume, was 2,712.96 equals area of the base is 452.16 times the height. And now I have set up an equation. All I have to do is divide to get H by itself. And 2,712.96 divided by 452.16 is six. So our height is six feet. All right, number two, it tells me that the volume of a cylinder is 282.6 centimeters cubed. If the radius is three, what is the height? So I'm talking about volume of a cylinder, which is V equals area of the base times the height. So I'm gonna write out V equals B equals and H equals. So they gave me the volume, it is 282.6. And I can tell that I'm finding the height that was in the question. And then they did not give me the area of the base, but remember in a cylinder, the area of the base is pi r squared since it's a circle. So to find the area of the base, I will do pi r squared. And they did give me the radius. So I will do 3.14 times the radius of three squared to find area of the base. So 3.14 times three squared is 28.26. Okay, now I have enough information to set up my equation. V is 282.6. B was 28.26. And then times H. And now I divide by 28.26. And 282.6 divided by 28.26 is 10. So the height of the cylinder is 10 centimeters. All right, let's look at number three. It says the volume of a cylinder is 628 millimeters cubed. If the height of the cylinder is two millimeters, what is the radius of the cylinder? So I know I'm dealing with volume of a cylinder formula, which is V equals area of the base times the height. I'm gonna write out V, B, and H. So they gave me the volume. It is 628. And they gave me the height, it is two. They want me to find the area of the base, 
The question is asking, what is the radius? That has to do with the area of the base. So I'm gonna start by finding the area of the base because remember the area of the base is pi r squared. So I'm going to set up this equation to solve for capital B and then that will help me find r. So it's kind of gonna be a two-step problem. So first I'm solving for B by substituting in V and H. And the volume is 628. It equals, I'm looking for B right now, times the height of two. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm gonna divide both sides by two. And 628 divided by two is 314. Okay, I'm not done. I found the area of the base, but remember the question was asking for the radius. So I'm gonna set up another equation for that. So I know the area of the base is pi r squared. I just found the area of the base is 314. Pi is 3.14. And then I'm looking for radius and it's squared. So the first step to solve this equation is to divide out that coefficient of 3.14. And 314 divided by 3.14 is 100. And that equals r squared. Okay, and this is kind of like the last step in the Pythagorean theorem when we're finding a missing side length and I'm left with a squared, b squared, or c squared. I have to take the square root to get the radius. And the square root of 100 is 10. So the missing radius is 10 millimeters. Okay, let's look at number four. It says the area of the base of a cone is 78.5 centimeters squared. If the volume of the cone is 314 centimeters cubed, what is the height of a cone? So this time I'm dealing with the volume of a cone, which is one third area of the base times the height. So V, B, and H is what we were talking about. The volume, they gave it to me, it's 314. Area of the base, they gave it to me, it is 78.5. And the height is what I'm looking for. So now I'm just gonna set up an equation and solve. V is 314 equals one third times the base of 78.5 times the missing height. Okay, now I'm going to simplify this side. The left side is already simplified. I need to simplify the right side by multiplying one third and 78.5. And I get 26.17 times H. And now I'm going to divide by 26.17. And 314 divided by 26.17 is 11.998. That's going to round to 12 centimeters for the height. Okay, let's look at number five. The volume of a cone is 2,512 feet cubed. If the radius is 20 feet, then what is the height? So we're talking about a cone, which is V equals one third BH. So V, B, and H are the three variables. They told me the volume is 2,512. Area of the base, they don't tell me it, but they tell me the radius, so I can find the area of the base. Remember, area of the base of a cone is pi r squared, so I'm gonna do 3.14 times my radius of 20 squared. And 3.14 times 20 squared is 1,000. 256 and then the height is what I'm looking for. So now I have everything I need to set up my equation. The volume is 2,512 equals one third times 1,256 times the height. And now I'm going to simplify the right side. 
So 2,512 equals one third times 1,256. It is 418.67 H. Okay, now the last thing I need to do to get H by itself is divide. And 2,512 divided by 418.67 is 5.999, and I'm going to round that to 6. Okay, last one, it says Jenny ate some gumballs that were sphere shaped that have a radius of 1.2 centimeters. The total volume of all the gumballs is 36.17 centimeters cubed. How many gumballs did Jenny have originally round to the nearest whole number? So I'm trying to figure out how many she had originally. They gave me the total volume. They also gave me the radius of one of them. So I'm going to start by finding the volume of one of the gumballs by using that sphere formula, which is V equals 4 thirds pi R cubed. So I'm going to do V equals 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius of 1.2 cubed. So 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius of 1.2 cubed is 7.23. So the volume of one of the gumballs is 7.23. The total volume of all of them was 36.17. I'm trying to figure out how many she had in total, so I'm going to divide the total volume by the volume of 1. And 36.17 divided by 7.23 is about 5. It said round to the nearest whole number, so that would be 5 gumballs.